Greetings, dear suckers. My name's Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And welcome back to Super Amazing Ragged Adventure Turbo. I say back. Most of you have probably not even seen my previous videos on this, and you probably shouldn't. Well, Disco Elysium still isn't working. I'm tired, I'm mildly ill, and... Well, I need a break. So... Super amazing wagon adventure it is. Let's go adventure. Yada yada yada. Migrating over wagon fails and all that. You know, whenever whenever I needed a nice break, I just boot up this game. The most historically accurate depiction of the settlers making their way down the Oregon Trail and such. No no no. The most historically accurate game ever made, period. You'll see. You'll see. They traveled in their trusty wagon. Let's see, we've got a few choices. The standard, completely average, you know. The classic design. We've got a few other slightly less classic designs, like the fantasy. The invisible. Hard to see, as you can probably imagine. Not fully invisible, but I guess the wagon itself is. The fast, you know, a jet plane of some variety. It's hard, kind of hard to make out what kind because of the uh, art style. You know, a lot of games ha have this really unrealistically high fidelity art style. I'm glad they are committed to depicting things as they actually look, you know, with these, with all, with this limited amount of pixels and all that. Because it's just so much more realistic, you know? It's nice. Anyway. Uh, I don't have this one. The Wild. Ah, yes. You might think, okay, that's a, that's clearly a buffalo, not an ox. Well, as I've mentioned before, Buffalo and oxen are actually the same species. They just have, they just, they just call themselves different things because of copyright reasons. Because, because obviously they invented copyright. Uh, the coal fired takes a year to arrive. <laughs> uh, the diseased spreads disease. Yes, this is, of course, a. Relatively common tactic in ancient warfare, because we did—they didn't have advanced chem chemical weaponry back then. They just had diseased corpses and such. The alien, unusual. The ancient, from a different time. The eastern. The modern. Air condition, yeah. The fancy. Western style. Survivalist, limited resources, and I think that's all I have. Yep. Normally I go for the wild because it's just the best, but. Hmm. Let's, let's go. F let's get fancy, why don't we? They set off into the forest. Alright, as one does. Seeing some animals in an upcoming clearing, they hurried ahead. They needed to stock up on food for the long journey. Yeah. A posse of bandits interrupted the hunt. Ah, bloody passes. Hate them. Oh. Ah, yes. The, a classic historical weapon. The disintegration pistol. Machine gun armed bandit wagon arrived. Ah yes, machine guns, of course, were around in the Oregon Trail era. Actually, they were around 
They've actually been around since about uh, 300 BC. So these, this one's kind of an antique. The Romans used them quite heavily. It's one of the reasons for their successes. Hannah left the wagon to look for wild berries. Hmm, dangerous pastime. You could get mauled by some of these if you're not careful. But it looks like she is. On her way back to the wagon, Hannah heard a noise in the trees. A bear wanted the berries. Heh <laughs> Berries. That's actually where bears got their name. In its last dying breath, the bear let out a cry for help. The bear's extended family heard the cry. Hannah ran back to the wagon. Well, that entertaining diversion. They ate a great meal of marmot sliders. <laughs> they reached a river crossing. McKay had the brilliant idea to try to jump over the river. Alternatively, they could ford it. Now, eagle-eyed viewers will note that jumping seems to be the most reasonable option, the safe option, because wagons were, of course, well known for their jumping capabilities. It's one of the main reasons they became such a ubiquitous form of transport, and was one of the hardest things for auto early automobile manufacturers to imitate. And you would be right, it is the reasonable option. Let's do it. They got a running start and leapt from the top of a ledge. Um, wouldn't it be a galloping start? Whatever. And there we go. Somehow they made it across. However, they landed near a den of bears, and the large thud woke the bears. Ugh, woke bears. The worst kind of bears. Ah, fuck. Bloody bears. Well known for being able to take several revolver shots before going down. Ah, and that's not even a joke. That's why the Desert Eagle was invented, specifically for that purpose, for taking down bears. They came across a large herd of buffalo after the the inventor uh, nearly died to a... Ugh. Now buffalo, of course, being just a, another word for oxen, essentially, uh, are not capable of taking revolver shots, much less machine gun fire. Obviously. Buffalo, 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 buffalo. You got that? Sure hope you did. But I won't be repeating it. Ah, the flame zone. A classic buffalo clearing tool. Ooh, another one. Nice. This is actually why the flamethrower was invented. Herds of buffalo just kept assaulting travelers. They needed something capable of clearing them. A weapon to surpass even the falcon. Some angry buffalo charged the wagon. Ah, see what I mean? Exactly this sort of thing. I have to make careful use of this. Feel not that careful. Ow, oh, fuck. I'm doing horribly in here. They came across a fur trader. Ah, here we go. The fur trader offered to trade them newer, faster wagon wheels for 54 animal hides. Yes, that's what we've been collecting this whole time. Now, you may notice that the icon for the animal hides is of a deer. And that might be weird because very few of the animal hides we've actually picked up are of deer. Well, you see, that's actually just how animal hides always look once you've taken them off the animal. And that's actually where deer came from. They're actually just sort of walking animal hides, more or less. Anyway. Trade for newer, faster wagon wheels. Oh yeah. Oh, now that seems like a dream. All of the recreational buffalo shooting started a prairie fire. Naturally. Because then we've got the speed to... Hopefully not get smoke inhalation. 
smoke was suffocating, so they hurried to escape the fire. Kind of funny that my uh, wagon wheel speed doesn't actually affect my horse, my uh, movement through these areas, but that's because I'm not actually moving through these areas. The, the areas are moving around me, sort of like uh, that one thing, virtual insanity. A wagon axle broke. The wagon was stuck. Yeah. Unfortunately, the wagon axle broke and rooted us to this, to this area of the ground. Hannah left the wagon to walk to the nearest f trading post, miles away. Of course. Coyotes hounded her. Naturally. Well, meat to the maw. Furs for the fur god. Hannah stumbled upon a camp of sleeping travelers. As one does. Hannah noticed the travelers had left supplies sitting out in the camp. She was tempted to steal the supplies. Oh. No, no. Do you want ghosts? Because that's how you get ghosts. Don't. Hannah left the travelers sleeping peacefully. Finally, Hannah reached the trading post. Whee! The replacement axle cost all of Hannah's money. Then she had to travel back. Ah, goddammit. So much for all the... Oh, wait, no. Right. Right, of course. Pelts aren't used for trading at these trading posts. Because, uh, they use trading posts are staffed by traders. They're working for the animals, you see. Hannah reached the wagon. After repairing the wagon, they traveled onward. I almost misread that as coward for a second. They reached another river. This one was too deep to ford. Well, it's not like we forded the last one. Hannah had the brilliant idea to swim underwater through the river. Alternatively, they could go around it through a desert path. Hmm. Ah uh, yes, good idea. Making use of our, making use of the wagon's standard issue sub submarine equipment. Yeah, going around would be far too dangerous. Let's swim for it. They forgot what they decided to do and ended up going around the river anyway. Fuck's sake. Okay, just throw me to the wolves. Why don't you? They entered into the desert. Dear God. They came across a gambling cowboy. The, co the cowboy bet them all of their animal hides so they couldn't kill 25 quails in 20 seconds. <sighs> Easy stuff. Accept bet. They accepted the bet and Mike My got ready. Oh no, not Mike. Ha! Easy, easy stuff. And I got a f some free pelts out of it. They won the bet and got 121 animal highs, plus like 30 from the quail. Oh yeah! Star Wars, baby. They avoided venomous snakes. Oh wait, no! Wait, we, they, we bet the 30 that we got as well, so... Ugh, venomous snakes. Rocket launchers are, of course, the classic weaponry. Uh... Unfortunately limited, which is the cause of a lot of deaths in... Uh, the Hungry Vultures made things worse. The cause of a lot of deaths in... The, on the Oregon Trail was the lack of... Rocket launcher ammunition. Now, you may think, oh, don't vultures go after dead things? Why are they going after... You know, like... Uh, scavengers and all that? That's actually propaganda. Vultures are actually vicious predators. Afraid of running out of water, they traveled faster. God damn it. This can't possibly go horribly wrong! Ow. 
See, didn't I tell you it, it couldn't possibly go horribly wrong? They noticed some kind of ancient ruin on the side of the trail. Maria decided to investigate. Which one was Maria? Please tell me it wasn't the One Health person. It was the One Health person. God fucking damn it, Maria. It was very dark inside. <sighs> Upon lighting a torch, she found it was filled with undead mummies. God fucking damn it. Undead mummies are not a common source of deaths in on the Oregon Trail because, god damn it, most people aren't stupid enough to run into a place full of undead mummies, you idiot. When Maria did not return to the wagon, they decided to carry on without her. <sighs> god damn it, Maria. One health bozo decided to run right into a bunch of undead mummies like an idiot. <sighs> Hannah sang a song by the campfire and it cheered everyone up. Oh, and of, of course it was right before she would have gotten healed. Naturally. Hannah noticed a sword on the side of the trail. She couldn't resist picking it up. Oh, for fuck's sake. At least you're at full HP. This is a definite way of- Do you want to fight ninjas? That's- Because that's how you get ninjas. Turns out the sword was some kind of ancient magical thing. Obviously. So a bunch of ninjas wanted it back. Obviously. This was eminently predictable. Dumbass. These guys are rubbish ninjas, though. Of course, which makes sense, because some of the ninjas had ninja stars, also known as shurikens. I think I can- Yeah! Eat shit! Obviously, the ninjas that would be going along the Oregon Trail would be kind of rubbish ones. The sword was cool, but the ninja stars seemed even cooler, so they kept those instead, obviously. A snowstorm began. Obviously the ninjas that would be going along the Oregon Trail would be rejects from Japan. The wolves were relentless, even during the snowstorm. Well yeah, obviously. Snowstorms are notorious for causing the wildlife to become vicious bastards. To the side of the trail they saw a dark figure. McKay left the wagon to investigate. Oh, this can't possibly go horribly wrong. Dark figure. Tuh. It was a lost traveler named Scott. He joined their party. Oh, well it didn't go horribly wrong. Sweet. Hey, he's not dark. They were so excited they accidentally dove, drove off a cliff. As one does. The wagon passed through a flock of crows. God fucking damn it. That's like the leading cause of death among Oregon Trail travelers. Ah! See what I mean? Ah, thank goodness for the faster wheels that we got, which allow us to go through the air much faster as we're falling. Luckily, the wagon landed in a river. The wagon, now a raft, was carried down river by the currents. Yeah. That's actually most all the best rafts are made out of wagons. They had to avoid boulders as their wagon navigated rabbits. Really, wagons are just incredible devices. Just, they have so many uses in so many different fields. They're even like centrifuges. Those are actually just a bunch of wagons driving around in a circle. Honestly, they're kind of overkill when it comes to personal transportation. Bunch of sharks in the river, right? Obviously, uh, which is why, uh, which is one of the main reasons why uh, cars and such, uh, inferior and other inferior but cheaper to maintain uh, vehicles became in vogue. Because the average person just doesn't need a wagon, you know? Not, not so much as to be worth it. Uh, bandit on a raft. It seemed the bandits had followed them and set up an ambush. Ugh. I bet they're not even using wagons as rafts. Yeah, look at that. Just sunk in one shot. What losers. Oh fuck, that was stupid of me. 
drove right into that goddamn boulder. Uh, yes, just another average day on the Oregon Trail, fighting off heavily armed bandits on a raft with a, with shotguns and shurikens. Just another average Oregon Trail. The bandits had stolen some kind of riverboat. Uh oh. Well, eat machine gun. Should have stolen one of these too. Fuck. Ha! Eat shit. Oh god damn it! There was health. Following the attack, the river became calm. They reached the coast. Hannah left the wagon to admire the sunset. A dangerous pastime. Ooh. And by admire the sunset, we mean kill lots of seagulls. Are these seagulls? Hard to tell. Soon there would be more wagons heading down the trail. Congratulations. Yeah! You made it! Yeah! Alright, we made it down the Oregon Trail once again in our super amazing wagon that we go on adventures in. Turbo adventures, even. Hmm, there should be a name for that sort of thing. Oh well. Ah, <sighs> man, it was nice to just... Yeah, I needed that. It's nice to just be able to... shoot the shit in this hyper-realistic game, rather than all those stressful, high, unrealistically high-fidelity things that I've been doing. I'm waffling. Tell me if you don't want to see any more of this ever again, and I'll feel free to ignore you. <sighs> Without any further ado, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, and so long, suckers!